feel good tonight. Down, 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 down. Remember, I'm Elvis. <laughs> I don't know why we do this music, you know, we just, we heard it and it's all we ever wanted to do. <laughs> Grandma worked the night shift and granddaddy ran a store and at night he'd be home. But he'd sing and play guitar. We listened to records that he brought home from the store. And my grandfather told me, he said, this is only a three chord song now. He said, but that's all you need is three chords to sing a country song. I walked into the living room. She was standing there with her suitcase. I'd crossed the line she had drawn, tears were running down her face. We traveled to churches and fairs and just anywhere and it just sort of grew from that if you stay I'll make it all all right we got to do a song we wrote tomorrow night you know it, and a lot of times I don't sit down to write them they just come this is an original song that we wrote a while back and I, we wrote this one about the late great Johnny Cash we had a request for it called the man in black he's wearing white <laughs> Love Hank Williams, love Merle Haggard, love George Jones, Tom T. Hall, anything traditional country. And we listen to old music and stuff, and, it, and you, you think you hear the stuff that people wrote about and sang about, and it's like, that stuff makes sense. <laughs> music was so real, I mean, you had to be able to play, you had to be able to sing. There was so much, like your clothes, your your hair, it was just a lot of sparkle to it. Now this, and I'm not knocking them, you know, I mean, I'm glad that that these new country singers are doing what they're doing and, and young people enjoy it, and that's good. But to me, it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make, I don't get, nothing touches my heart or makes me cry hearing songs about, you know, four-wheel drive trucks and stuff. I want to hear something about people's life experiences. It's, it's a good town. We've got a lot of history here. It's a southern town and it's it's got that charm but also we've got an Air Force base here so you have a lot of different cultural background. Anytime that the boys do a show here in Goldsboro, it's always packed out full. People of all ages are there. And it's just wonderful to see the outpouring world for the guys. We also want to make you part of the show by getting to know everybody up here in case you hadn't seen us before. The fella playing the bass is our dad, Mr. Chris Malpas. Y'all give him a big hand. Goldsboro's been really good to us, as well as Wayne County and then the Paramount Theater took us in, and I think it was a little different for them to start with. They were more used to the classical type music, and we go in doing this old traditional country, but the people loved it. This world's gotten really crazy. My fiance just got cable TV. I sat down to watch it and watch the news. I said, you can enjoy it all you want to. I said, I can't watch the news. I said, you can watch, I'll watch Andy Griffith or something, but the news, it drove me, it drove me crazy. Just thinking of listening to how things have changed. It's just, what are people thinking, you know? Taylor is more talented than I am on instruments, for sure. He's, he could write if he wanted to. He just, he just helps me write. He could write on his own. Great singer. But Taylor is one of the most complicated people. <laughs> Taylor, you never know which Taylor you're going to get that day. You look different tonight. Something like that. I don't know what it is. <laughs> There's something about you. Did you hear? 
No. I'm a hair. All I, my hair did to the guy today. I think it's the new shampoo I'm using. It's called Aussie, Australian for hair. <laughs> it might be on. Uh, it might be your beard. Looks I think good. it's this uh, jacket. No, it's not the jacket. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice the jacket, John? Huh? You didn't notice? What Did you notice? Well, I was kind of wondering when we were going to start doing some liberal rotches. <laughs> tell people, you know, that's my brother, that's my brother. He's a great songwriter, he, he's a great singer, he never gives himself enough credit, that's for sure. And uh, he's my best friend. Thank you. 